Basically what inspired vaudeville is uh, what vaudeville was, if anybody knows or has ever heard of it, it's this uh, entertainment that used to go on from like the early 1900s to at least late 40s or something like that, where people would get booked into these venues with uh, specific talents that they had. And this was entertainment that they had before television and movies and all that. And they would do magic tricks or they would do comedy, uh, music, um, dancing and all kinds of stuff. And people would flock to these places to set to see these people um, display their, their talent and basically um, when movies and TV came around it obliterated and, and made obsolete all of that interaction that human inter human interaction of being inside of the venue and watching people uh, perform and now we're kind of back in the same thing where you can't even go to a concert without somebody sticking their phone up in the air and there's no human interaction, you know? There's no, um, there's no playing outside. You don't see people playing outside. You see, like, you see people just stuck on digital devices. And I think that um, I would like our brand to be a part of, obviously we're not gonna get rid of that lifestyle, but we're gonna, you know, hopefully try to get people back into interacting with each other socially. Cause I see it, cause, because of my kids, I have kids about that age and they're, you know, they're all about, their, their phones and um, they also you know they're also social because I, I make them but if it wasn't for that then they'd be on there all day and I think most kids are on there on all day and playing video games and all that and I just want to be a part of getting everything back to the way it was which is when it was fun. But we chose Vaudeville's Revenge to be the first track on the album. So we thought it was probably the best song that owes a lot visually to a video. And with the, uh, I think the only other song that would probably be really cool to make a video for is the 90 car pile up. But the amount of money we would need to have 90 cars piled up on top of each other would be more. So this video was actually catered. It's the first video that I ever did that was catered. I think it's like my 23rd music video. Chris Rabb got involved. He wanted to uh, direct it. He wanted to co-direct it with me. And I was, you know, all about that, trying to think of ideas, and my wife chipped in and helped produce it. But then after Chris got going and he took over, he knew what he was doing. He got um, actors, uh, directors of photography, he got everybody on a crew within 24 hours, including extras and even the catering and stuff. So I just let go and I let him do his thing because he deserves it and he's, he's getting a lot better at that. So the video was recorded, I can't remember where this, what studio it was, it was called. Do you remember what it was called? I mean, it was a really expensive place that, that they gave us for a really good deal. And um, so we were able to get everybody in. Um, took all day. We had a lot of people, more people in this video than any video I've ever done. There was, uh, there was actors besides, you know, a couple friends here and there so I think that it it gets the point across about how how old entertainment and old ideas are, are uh, perfect new ideas because human beings don't have any new ideas so they have to go back to old ideas so I think that all the old ideas that were cool that are gone now are going to be today's new ideas so that's basically what it is I want to combine the world of what used to happen that nobody knows about anymore and what's going on now, mesh them together and get this concept that hopefully people, they will understand. <laughs>